Hello and welcome to another Retro Shelf video and uh, this is a book I backed on Kickstarter 40 Best Machine Code Routines for the ZX Spectrum with Explanatory Text 4th Edition The original book was based on routines written by John Hardman and Andrew Hewson turned them into a book and that was one of the early Hewson productions when they were a book publisher rather than a, a games company and of course Having had so many people send in games and other things to them, they transitioned to becoming a games company. Now, this is the fourth edition, as it says, and it comes with a Spectrum Next chapter by Jim Bagley. As you can see, I was an elite backer, so there's my certificate of authenticity. There's my 40 best bookmark. And we'll have a look. There's the... Photostat Signature, first printing 2023, Introduction, the Spectrum Next, Internal Structure of the ZX Spectrum, Z80A Machine Language, Introduction, Scroll Routines, Display Routines, Routines to Manipulate Programs, Tool Cook Routines, and the Appendices. So, forward from John Hardman, who wrote the original routines, and forward from Andrew Hewson, who rather amusingly said, that originally he got a phone call about VAT and had to prove that his book was a book. Introduction telling you what to expect, some basic points about machine code and how to learn it, and then we have the new ZX Spectrum Next chapter from Jim Bagley which starts with an explanation of how a routine on the Next is different to the original routine on the Spectrum. So then we have the graphics routines rewritten for the next, as you can see, it's included some comments to help you. So that's mostly to do with scrolling the screen by a character or a pixel. And then, important part of the book, the internal structure of the ZX Spectrum, the memory map shows you where you can work and where certain things are placed, how peek and poke work the display file, which is how you display things on the screen, the attributes, the printer buffer, the basic program area, the five byte numeric form, the variables and ROM routines that you might call. So then chapter on Z80A machine language, how to use bits and bytes, how to use addresses, which are high byte and low byte, the Z80 registers, so there are more of these than on other chips compared to the 6502, for example, and it explains then how you use them. So the accumulator, the flag register, the counting registers, the address register, the index registers, which have a different form of address, the stack pointer and the program counter, which tells you where it's going, and the exchange registers. So you can swap between them, about the instruction set, and then a glossary of the instructions sorted by type with some detail about how they work. Section B introduces you to how to run the programs and the machine code loader. So this allows you to input the routines by using just the numeric data. There's a checksum to make sure you've got it right. And example checksum there. So then we go on to the routines themselves. So start off with the scroll routines. So this shifts the attributes left, attributes right, attributes up, attributes down, left scroll by character, right scroll by character, and it shows you the length of the routine, the checksum it should have, what it does, how to call it, and some comments listing. So these are the numbers you would input. This is the mnemonics, for the actual instructions which the computer doesn't understand, but are used to help us understand them. So load the address register, load D, load accumulator, load B, decrease the address register, and so on. Scroll up by one character, down by one character, left by one pixel, right by one pixel, up by one pixel, and down by one pixel. 
So that gives you some basic, well, I should say machine code routines for doing those. And then the display routines to merge two pictures, to invert the screen, invert the screen vertically, invert character horizontally, rotate a character, swap attributes, fill a region, which can be quite slow. And it shows you how it works. Shape tables. Some complicated plotting there. Screen magnify and copy, which will probably come in handy at some point. And a long explanation there. And then some routines to manipulate the programs. So you can delete a block of a program, swap the token, get rid of the rem, REM remark commands, create a remark, compact a program, load machine code into data statements. So if you've got machine code in memory, you can turn it into data, convert lower to uppercase, and then the toolkit routine. So renumbering in basic, memory remaining, program length, line address, copy memory, zero all the variables, list the variables, search and list, search and replace, search the ROM, in string, so that's for finding a substring within a main string, so if you're searching, say, for a name or trying to prevent someone putting something rude into your high score table, appendix A, Gives you two tables listing the instructions and their numerical equipment. And some are two and some are free might. Special thanks to the ultra and elite backers, of which I am one. And then section C, appendix C here, is ZX Spectrum memories, so elite and above are given the chance to share some of the memories and there's some interesting ones there's people who never had a, a spectrum the people who got one when it first was released and people who want to get into using it now so it's an interesting little extra added to the book and that's it so while it won't make you into an expert spectrum program overnight there are some really handy routines that you can add and the format allows you to understand the structure and it's available right now from hueygames.com along with the first book Hints and Tips of Video Game Pioneers by Andrew Hewson which is actually a history of Hewson and 21st century entertainment and if you look I actually have two different copies here and the only way you can tell the difference is to look well there's some differences internally but on the cover the only way to tell the difference is here because this is the final print edition, and this is a proofreading edition, because I helped proofread and check the book before publication. So, if you want to check out the new book, or if you haven't got the history book, then head to hughgames.com, and I will see you in the next video. Keep watching the channel for more. Retro Shelf, Merch Stand, Unboxing, and gaming videos.